Week City. Hello and welcome to a new episode. Today I'm going to play a game based on the Disney movie Frozen. You can decide for yourself if you want to recreate the characters from the movie or if you want to make completely new characters of your own. I decided that this time I wanted to see if I can make the main characters from Frozen as accurately as possible. And then maybe later play around with other ideas. So I start off with the main character, Princess Anna! It was pretty easy to find all the details that I needed to make her dress. The person who made this game really knew what they were doing. If you wanted to, you could make all Anna's outfits with this game. to the dress, but by that time it was already too late to make any changes. But other than that, it really looks like Elsa. The key elements are the hair and facial features and makeup. I also forgot to add her freckles. See me? Then I made Kristoff. And yes! Finally a game where I can dress up guys. I love all the girl power in dress up games. But sometimes I just want to see guys rocking out some awesome fashions too! was to find the right color for his reindeer skin clothes. All of them looked a little wrong in my opinion. work out what goes where. But this time I did not forget the freckles. Give him his original. 
Ocean of Clouds. He wears a modern jumper with pants from the early 1700s after all. Frozen takes place in around the 1800s, which means that Elsa and Anna were born 100 years after Jack Frost. But he is immortal and can live for hundreds of years, so it would make sense that he could actually meet them. Sometimes I like to imagine what would happen if Elsa and Jack Frost met. I think they would become instant friends, considering that they both have magical ice and frost powers that neither of them asked for. But it is just a dream. Disney and DreamWorks are competing studios after all, and would never, ever make a movie together. They are like each other's enemies. Wait, does that mean that Elsa and Anna are the enemies of Jack Frost? Now that sounds like an interesting story. Somebody draw a fan art of that! I wanted to make one more guy, and I was playing around with the thought of what if Elsa had been a man, or had a brother? And then I made this! Say hello to... Um, um, King Elsa? Not? Oh, that's a bad name. Elias! That is a Scandinavian masculine name that actually exists! rocking the long braid.
or yeah, yeah, well, it proves that she's an evil, so for the nice snow queen. Elsa, I basically flipped the contrast. In the original, her skin is light and the dress is dark, but here I wanted to make her skin dark and dress light. I think the colors really pop now. But Mixi, do you now mean to say that Elsa was born with blue skin? Hmm, no? I imagine that her skin became blue and hair snowy white during the coronation day when she lost control of her powers. Hmm, maybe her hair slowly started to change color and parts of her body turned from brown to blue? Imagine how frightened Anna must have been seeing her sister throw her on ice as well as change color. Ooh, ooh, another idea! But then, during Let It Go, she accepts her powers and the colors change completely to what we see here. <laughs> I made a lot of changes to the story now. I think I got a little too carried away. But I think it would have worked in the movie. And here they all are! I had a lot of fun making these, not hot. And if you want to play the Snow Queen Scene Maker 2, I have put a link in the description below. And if you're new to my channel, do not forget to subscribe so you won't miss more dress up fun in the future. Thank you for watching and see you again soon!